the Jojo Moto's Moto News. Alright, so as always, big news happening in the Moto community all the time. And today I've got some pretty cool stories to tell you about. So the first biggest story I've got to tell you about, it's not a happy one to start with. Jake Moss, four year ban. Now Jake Moss tested positive to Osterine in round four of the MX Nationals. It's quite disappointing, Jake. Not cool. You're supposed to be a great role model for others. And you're not doing a very good job. Yep. Uh-huh. This just in, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Jojo Moto live on the scene, out testing an awesome new road. Thanks, Jojo. So you can see for the next two kilometers here, we'll get ourselves a nice little twisty road. Let's check it out. A nice little sweeping left-hander. A bit tighter right-hander. Left-hander opens out. Into another. over the midpoint and to the downhill section. Quite a tight little left-hander here. And from here we've got a few switchbacks. Flipping back to some balls. Back to some balls. Nice little section here. And that's it for my twisty road report. Back to you Jojo in the studio. Thank you for that wonderful report Jojo. Back to the news. So our next big bit of news here is the KTM 790 Adventure has been spied. The new model. It says here that it's going to be released as a 2018 model. It says that the 790 Adventure highlights an all new 790 parallel twin, two, mo two new models, serious off-road ability, full LCD dash, and twin fuel tanks. I think the twin fuel tanks is going to be a big thing. What an amazing bit of news. KTM finally starting to fill those gaps in that the adventure community has wanted for so, so long. There's still no 450 adventure. I mean, there's a couple of different things hanging around, but there's no really good mass-produced 450 adventure bike yet. Someone will do it, though. Mark my words, someone will do it. It's now time to cross live to Jojo for the weather. How's the weather looking today, Joe? It's gonna rain! Well, thanks for that really comprehensive uh, weather report there, Joe. Back to the news, I guess. So our next big bit of news here is for our road rider community. Casey Stoner pairing up even tighter with Ducati. He's already one of their test riders, but he's also now being advanced in his role to be a technical consultant. So not only is he a test rider, but he's grasping that grip with Ducati even tighter for 2017. Well done, Casey Stoner. We're now crossing live back to Jojo for some more weather. It's windy! Yeah, again, thanks for that really comprehensive weather report there, Joe. Back over to you on the bike, Jojo Moto. Thanks, Jojo. Here for a traffic report in Pomona. As you can see, this guy driving down the wrong side of the road. Well done, guy. It's actually quite busy here in Pomona this morning. We've got a few cars around on the road. There is the markets happening. Traffic is getting quite banked up around the roundabout area. Mostly due to a uh, motorcycle going around it two times. The local mobile library is uh, coming into park. That's gonna cause a few traffic hazards down here. All in all, a pretty clear day on the roads in Pomona. Back to you, Jojo, in the studio. Thanks, Jojo, for that great report. Now save the best news for last. Toby Price has extended his KTM contract until 2019. How exciting is that? He'll remain with the KTM all the way up to 2019 and probably extended on further than that. I am sure of that. Now coming with that news is his awesome new film, Paying the Price. I think it was produced by uh, Red Bull. Check it out. It'll be in the description below. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to tell you a little story about Toby Price and myself. I've met him a couple of times. Really cool guy. But the biggest thing is, uh, probably five years or so ago, I was watching a little documentary about Toby Price and he dead set inspired me. 
He was absolutely killing it as a young gun, and now he's just come up and up and up and up and just killing it everywhere in the motorcycle community. He is the biggest name in the off-road, that's for sure. So if you don't know who Toby Price is, check out this little video, Paying the Price, because it is absolutely awesome, and you'll learn a whole lot about him. That's it for Jojo Moto's Motorcycle News. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. So the KTM 790 uses the base engine of the 690, it doesn't, I just 100% made that up, I don't actually know that the website's not loading because I'm over in the shed and the Wi-Fi is not good here. I guess the 790 is pretty good, maybe.